Hey guys, this is Captain Jack Sparrow, and welcome back to my Direwolf 20 server. I figured it was time I show you what we've all been working on for so long, and let's just get jumping right into it. Let's head over to my base. As you can see, I went ahead and I created a, uh, a portal system, or using the, the Overworld books. So we've got Alchemist, Ma or no, Anime Chick, that's my eldest daughter that joined the Navy. Mural and Crazy Dragon are my two younger daughters. Alchemist Mason, me, Hallow Wolf, and Craft Lawrence are new to the server. Well, not really new. They've been here for a couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, let's take a look and see how we've progressed. Obviously, you see that I've been playing around in Mistcraft. Lots of different worlds. Uh, one question for you guys. If anybody knows how to use the Liquid Yellowite... Um, pl please let me know because I have access to a whole ton of it and I can't use it for anything. It, it this world is a waste and I really want to use the liquid eulorium. So if anybody knows how to use it in actual converting it back to block form, let me know. Let's see. Uh, I've been definitely messing around with a bunch of stuff. Let's start here. I went ahead and I built. <laughs> Yeah, this was fun. Bedrockium drums. I've got like four of them. They take forever for my ME system to auto-craft, but that big pillar that was up to the ceiling of liquid XP and the 20-some thousand, 30-some thousand of experience that was in my ME system is all in there. That's a lot of experience. So, what else? Oh, I've converted this room into an auto-crafting room. It is no longer a power plant. And another question for you guys. I probably have this completely screwed up, completely installed correct, incorrectly and configured incorrectly. I can only get one thing to craft at a time. All of my all of my crafting units, those two and those two will have stuff in them. But it will only be ticking off one at a time and only out of one of the crafting units. So I can't figure that out. I haven't looked it up. If anybody has any ideas on how to correct that, let me know. What else have I been doing? I have massively increased my drive space. Um, I've, I'm using so much ender chests that I am using pink now. Yay. What else? Um, you, you guys are probably wondering why I'm using that just yet. Well, I'll show you. My power plant has been upgraded. I have definitely upgraded my power plant. None of that's changed back there. I haven't been really playing with Thomcraft or the bees, but I do have something out there, and you can kind of see it right there. But I'm, I kind of want to wait to show you guys. Uh, let's see, what else have I done? You guys have seen my regular mob spawner, Bedrock M Drum. So I'm definitely getting rid of the lag. Oops, you saw it. <laughs> yeah, I've been busy. Um, I'm definitely getting rid of the lag-creating uh, open block tanks. They still work great. I love the tanks. But if you have a bedrock M drum, no lag. So I am not worried about it. Um, I've got my ghast farm here. And I'm not going to turn it on because it takes forever to use. And then my power plant. And my power plant, I'm putting out... Um, what was it? 46. I'm just going to round it to 50,000. So 100,000 there because there's two of those turbines. And 60,000. So 220,000 RF per tick. And I still need more. That's why I'm using these cryo stabilized fluid ducts because they, they're infinite power. Um, they, they infinite transfer. So. Um, I think I'm going to take that out and stop having to make them and just go straight down. Because I just realized that's a big waste right there. And then the other one's going to go, yeah, I'm going to have to do that because that was a pain to make all those. But yeah, I've got four turbines. And they're this one and the one below are matched. So 46, 515, and 62 and change here. The difference is this one has four coils and the other one only has three so but my goal is is to get a laser drill going and utilize this 13 billion rf that i have stored here 
and then go from there. Um, I want to keep going with this project. This one takes just so much resources. So that's kind of why I'm waiting. I've got my ore processing set up here. I don't know why I had a problem saying setup, but uh, yeah, it's it's chugging along, and it's I'm getting stuff moved through. So um, I don't believe I have any backup of ores. Let's see. Nope, just Eulorium and uranium which i'm kind of saving the uranium is a uh for a rainy day forty six thousand uranium so that's uh what eighty ninety two thousand uranium or eulorium that i can turn that into so it's kind of a rainy day so um anyway so back to this guy here i'm loving this i love the the staff of traveling it makes things way easier if you can see the node you're trying to travel to the the block you just right click and boom but normally you only get that far so I jumped from over there somewhere so let's just go right here back up to that and jump that's as far as I got from over there but if I do that and just right click boom I traveled so many blocks I love it it allows me to expand the base a little bit so that's kind of what I've been doing I built this base or this tower took me a couple of days to do until I found a specific block. I remembered that we could do this earlier, but I really didn't want to try and do it. This thing makes things so much easier. That's what I built the bottom out of. So it made the symmetrical architecture building so much easier than, than dropping blocks and guessing. So. I think I'm going to move some uh, witchery up here or something up here. I don't know yet. And then we've got this guy here, which is just all my nodes. Um, but what else have I been doing? Let me look. I've been working on build craft a very little bit. Right now it's just processing, or not build crafting, industrial craft. Right now it's just processing yellow right into bars, obviously. So why am I... Oh, it's just mining fatigue, so... So anyways, let's head on over to some of the other bases and see how they're doing. While I'm doing that, guys, if you guys like these episodes, if you want to see more of these episodes, hit that like button. Let me know, uh, suggest things to do, uh, answer questions. I know I've asked a few questions in this, in this video, but uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's see. I'm not seeing too much changed here, mainly because my oldest daughter is no longer here. She's in Great Lakes, Illinois. But she did get this done, and we were playing around with this and watching a bunch of videos trying to figure out how to get to Elfheim. And we couldn't figure it out. If anybody knows if you can actually get to Elfheim in the Direwolf 20 1.7.10 mod pack, let me know because she wants to go. But what else have they done? She's definitely been playing around with witchery. She cursed Alchemist Mason. Oh, that's new. I heard that uh, Crazy Dragon was building something like a treehouse. So what has she got going on here? Now keep in mind, Crazy Dragon's my youngest daughter. She's 13, so uh, between school and, and other responsibilities, this is what she's built so far and this is kind of cool a dead end I think we already looked at this last time so let's see hello skelly goodbye skeleton let's see let's head over to alchemist mason's base and see how they were how he was doing the the uh, mural and crazy dragon are going to probably start building quite a bit come Christmas school break. So, holy cow, he's definitely getting into the applied energistics. He's got some some turbines in here, and it looks like it's a single layer. What's the power output? He's only using five thousand RF per tick. He's not even using it. I'm jealous. 
So I went ahead and I graffitied his base. I used the paintball gun and applied energistics and, and graffitied his base. Yeah, I did. What else does he got going on? He's got a bunch of stuff all over these trees. He's definitely getting into Mistcraft, which is cool. And he's a book collector for some reason. I don't know why he has so many books, but he does. What is that? Oh, witchery. What? Why does he have a hole there with nothing there? Weird. He's got himself a fireplace in a tree. Okay. Let's go upstairs. I'm not seeing anything different in here from last time. Or am I? Well, that's an easy way out of your base. That's kind of cool. Yeah, he's... No, he's not playing around with witchery. He's going to need a bigger platform. i got to talk to him about the pink. What else has he done? He's definitely getting ready to do some gardening stuff. I'm seeing a lot of of um, dirt laying around. That's gotten bigger. And what He's doing railcraft too? Holy cow. Where do these people find time? I don't have this much time. Oh, he's doing thumbcraft. That is going to be a node in a jar. I bet you there's a node in there. What else? Oh. I want to see if I can find a chicken. Where's a chicken? Well, there's a chicken, but not the right color. There's a chicken. Those little dudes are hilarious. I, I went into creative. And I spawned so many red chickens in his base. That he couldn't even log on. And then we killed them all. And he's still seeing them. Yes, I did. I love it. But, what is he doing all over the place he's definitely got railcraft going and blood magic he's definitely way further in blood magic than I'll ever be I'm gonna have to start getting into that just because what bro I need to teach you the ways of applied energistics quantum singularity To prevent yourself from doing that, I would create one of, I think it's a quantum ring, I can't remember the name of it, uh, quantum link chamber. You need one of those, two of those, then you need one of those, which you put into, I don't remember, I've got it at my base, that, you put it into that. And you need eight, 16 of those. And you build the eight around one of those, put one of those in it, which that gives you one of those from one of those. You know what? Watch a video. But you need a quantum ring because that allows you not to have to do that. That is a lot of cable. Anyways. Where else can we go visit? Let's go... What, what is this? He's building an ore processing plant. Okay. Well, let's head o Let's head over to Hollow Wolf and Craft Lawrence's base and see what they got going on. Let's see. Now they're going to have a lot more design stuff implemented and, and it's going to be a lot prettier because, well, they do stuff like this. Yeah, that's cool. I don't have a bridge. I want a bridge. And their bridge will look cool. Got some mob farms going. See that right there, and it's purple. Well, I'm not going yet, but it will be, I'm sure. A big reactor going. I do like that bridge. That bridge is cool. 
but they build definitely some cool stuff. They've only been on the server for about a week, maybe two, and they're already going. What is that? An extractor. How, how could I have... That's got to be for his toilet. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video because we're at the 15 minute mark. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So enjoy.